Hi and welcome to my maths class. Before we start with the trick, it is advisable that you are comfortable with all the revision of grade 10. It is essential that you know all the work for grade 10, the quadrants, the basic ratios, before continuing with grade 11 work. Now, what we would like to emphasize today are the four quadrants where we usually say all students take coffee. We do understand that in the first quadrant all are positive, in the second quadrant sin and cosec is positive, in the third quadrant tan and cot is positive, and in the fourth quadrant cos and sec is positive. We also know that we run from 0, 90, 180, 270 and 360. Our basic ratios is sin, cos and tan and then cot, sec and cosec. Oranges, apples, oranges, apples, hearts, hearts, oranges, apples, oranges, apples, hearts, hearts. That way we can remember what each ratio stands for. So sin theta is opposite over hypotenuse and so forth. We also know that O represents Y. We also know that O represents Y. A represents X and H represents R in the standard Pythagoras. What I'd like to emphasize on today is do you understand do you understand your quadrants? So if I give you a restriction sin theta is greater than 0 and your limit is between 0 and 360 degrees. Which quadrant am I in? Now Working with our basic Cartesian plane, if I say sin theta is greater than 0, it means that sin theta is positive, which would be in the first and second quadrant. Then when I give you your second restriction, where I say 0 to 360, 0 to, zero to 360 is the entire four quadrants. So which quadrant am I working in? I am working in the first and the second. Let's try another one. Let's say I'm giving you cos theta is less than 0 and I'm working between 90 and 360 degrees. Again, we work with our small Cartesian plane. We know that cos is less than 0 which means that I'm in the second and third because cos is greater than zero in the first and the fourth. Then I'm working from 90 to 360, which is second, third and fourth. So which two quadrants am I working in? I'm working in the second and the third. Now you must understand, when I say cos theta is less than zero, I'm saying where is it negative? Now, if I'm saying where is it negative, then I must know. But cos is only positive in two quadrants. In the first quadrant, where all is positive, And in the fourth quadrant, where cos and sec is positive. And then when I'm working from 90 to 360, I'm specifically working with my degrees. Let's try one more. Let's say I'm giving you that sec theta is less than 0 and I'm giving you that cosec theta is greater than 0. Now again your little Cartesian plane, where is sec less than 0? In other words, where is sec negative? It is positive in the first and the fourth. So we know I'm not going to work in the first and the fourth. So I'm working in the second and third. Now once you are done with that, where is cosec greater than 0? Now cosec is greater than 0 where it is positive. Now positive, we know in the first quadrant all is positive. So cosec is definitely going to be positive in the first quadrant. The second place that it is positive is in the second quadrant. So the only place where both these conditions are applied is in the second quadrant. So your answer is the second quadrant. 
you must be familiar with the quadrants because it's going to come in almost every section for the next trig that we are going to do for grade 11. Thank you for watching.